Dude, I swear I had it when I was at your place last night. Not there, asshole. Just, just listen. Can you please, please keep an eye on it for keep an eye on it for me? Thank you. Please. There. Sorry, Granddad. And now I'm talking to my grandfather's ghost. I mean, your ghost. <laughs> uh, anyways, sorry, Gramps, Grandpappy, El Padre Grande. <laughs> <laughs> this is not getting me anywhere. It's fine. I need to find that necklace. Hey, man. Thank God. Okay, I'm coming over to help look. Oh, sorry. You're good. Just watch for your. Hey. Hey. Uh, it's it's been a while. Oh my God, Daniel, how you been? I'm sorry, I I'm late to an interview. Um. Oh, but. We should catch up sometime, maybe over coffee. Yeah, uh, yeah. Text me, same yeah. number. Absolutely, will do. Uh, yeah, so I have my GED. I, I dropped out before I could get my diploma. Um, education, whole thing just wasn't working for me, you know? But I have a lot of work experience. I'm a hard worker, and I used to work at an auto center in the city. Yeah. Um, yes, sir. I've been working on cars since I was 14. Gotta provide for your family at some point, right? Yeah, uh, my dad said that if I didn't get a job, he'd kick me out. So, well, I chose the job. Still, though, um, I wish I could have gone to all those high school parties, you know, the crazy ones. Um, 
but dad always had something for me to do. To play soccer. I could have done anything to be on that team. But but the, the practice and the games were all just waste of time. Time that I could be spending providing for my family. I, I'm so sorry. Um, what were you saying about the hours? <laughs> How can I help you? Hi, I'm picking up. It's a red Subaru for Lori Henderson. Oh, uh, yeah, let me see what I can do for you. Oh. So, what are you doing after you get out of here? I'm going to visit my friends for birthday. Ah, tell her I said happy birthday. So is it going to be like a party or something? It's going to be kind of hard to tell her. And no, no party. Can I have my keys? What, is it going to be hard? Well, I'd have to get my Ouija board out. Oh my god, I am so sorry. It's okay, it was from about four years. Yikes. you would say no hi no hello how are you I'm good how are you too sorry just miss you I miss you so much and I know it's pathetic it's your birthday we should be partying happy birthday tw dead bitch <laughs> you're 28 now <laughs> bury you right next to an airport. I mean, it's a cemetery for Christ's sake. It's supposed to be quiet and serene in this lovely place where you're laid to rest for the rest of your life. So who thought, let's, you know, build an airport right next to it? I just miss you. I mean, you'd think after four years, I would be used to this. Five. It's been five years. I just miss you so goddamn much. I miss your laugh, your smile, your energy. I don't know how to live in a world without you. on your, how was it, uh, quiet breathing time? It's okay, I just sometimes forget that I'm not the only person on this earth.
Abraham. I'm their nephew. I never met the man, of course. Uh, funny how fate works, huh? But it's kind of stupid. At the same time, I kind of miss him. I miss him a lot. And it's weird to miss someone that, that you never... I'm sorry, this is... get it completely, man. I just started college, and I'm not gonna lie, living on my own, it's the best. <laughs> yeah. I remember the first time that I moved away from my dad. I felt so much relief. I finally could have something to myself, some place just for me. I mean, I still had to send a bunch of money over to help them. At one point, I had to rent out a room just to scrap by. You do what you gotta do, right? It sounds like you had a, a tough time to grow up fast. Like, I feel like your brain has to grow way faster than you had to, so you kind of forced it. It's, it's not fun. It's not a good way to grow up. Yeah, well, you have to do what you gotta do. It's the sacrifices you have to make for your family. to get over it, to stop hurting, but now that I'm healing, I miss it. I miss missing her. The other day I was watching a video and I could hear her voice, but I didn't recognize it. I can't picture her face. I can feel her feeling. I remember how she made me feel. I remember the way we would laugh. I remember whenever we would ride the bus and listen to music together, but I can't picture her face, and that scares the fuck out of me. The hardest thing about, the hardest thing for me was feeling like I'm not allowed to grieve. My mother knew him, even my older sister, she has some memories with him. But me, all I've heard is stories. Stories about his mannerisms, his passions, the, the way how he would help out his, I mean, our family. But I never talked to him. I never saw him. Oh, so why am I allowed to grieve? What do I have to be sad over? Is that even allowed? I guess I have his name and I have his necklace. Is that enough? I guess that's up for me to decide. The worst part about grief for me is the fact that I didn't even know I could grieve. Whenever I think of grief, I always think of death or losing someone. But I lost time and opportunities, and I never got to stop and be able to grieve that loss. 
with my dad, it was always go, go, go. I guess I never learned just to stop. Just to stop and think. Sometimes I ask myself, what would have happened if I did that? What would have happened if I just stopped? Would I be able to play soccer still? Could I have a girlfriend? Could I go to college?